we just go straight to the point. See the message, message, message right there on the uh, dash. It's a power steering assistant fault. So that's going to be the uh, torque sensor, which it goes inside of the uh, steering wheel. So we're just going to go ahead and do it. One thing, the uh, dealer, the, the sensor, it just uh, on back order, you know. So just make sure you get the sensor before anything else. I got my from Amazon, so I will share the, uh, probably the link or, you know, or something that you can find it. There was a couple left, so I'm not sure about, you know, if they're going to, they should make some more, you know. And, uh, well, let's do it. Okay, guys, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to remove the uh, little bolts in here. We got three. So it's going to be this small ones, 5.5. Five, five. Five point five, um, socket already got it loose bring this down you know it's already loose so we're gonna use a flat right here to pop them off or just like that you know just pop it go right here let's see if you can get this one on this side too okay just pop it you know just pop it off that one is already loose now this one but to get that one out we're going to we're going to pop this one off just you know just pop it you see the uh, yellow clips so they just press in and on this side you know just have to get it out so we got the second one now we can get this one out you just have to wiggle it a little bit and then it should come off. Let me get this up. Okay. So we got all the pieces out. Now we got access to get the, uh, the uh, bolts behind. Let me get it out. Let me show you where it is. Okay, guys. So... Uh, for next step it will be the uh, you know disconnect all this remove all these connectors out of the way of course I got the battery already off so we can unplug everything so you just push this one you know push down and pull it same thing on this one just press this top and then pull it and uh, same the other one right here which is on this one, oh, hold on, let me see if I can get that one. On this one, we just go like, same thing, but we just have to, let me see if I can get it out. Barely can reach that one right there. I can barely get that one. Okay, you know, it's, this, it's very little, so you have to press this little one, this one down and then pull it. So now right here, we just can take this out. Now we're going to do the top one. This one, let me see if I can get the key out. Okay, so on this one, the other one goes right here. We have to, um, do the same thing but you barely can see i'm gonna pull up just press this down and pull it so now we got almost everything out on this one you just have to pull this out it should come out like that see we got it all the connectors out now next step will be um the ma the manual say that we have to to best get alignment on the uh, torque sensor, it gets the steering wheel to uh, like close to 11 o'clock, like you see in a clock, right? So you can put them in or like 11 o'clock. Like right now it's 12, but like that it's gonna be about 11 maybe. We just maybe have to unlock a little bit and then. Okay, let me see if I can unlock this thing. Okay, like almost like that. 
but 11 see it's not a straight next step will be get this turks 45 there is one right there there is another one right there so we can bring that one down you know the whole thing it needs to come down and then we can pull it let me get the 45 the turks 45 we can get that out okay, of the so way we got the uh t45 oh hold up T45 torques right there. So we're gonna lose this one right here. Okay, we got that one. And we got the other one on the side. I just gonna lose it for now. Just like that. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to, cause I'm gonna remove the whole steering wheel. So I'm gonna hold this steering wheel with something, strap it down or whatever. So it don't keep, you know, moving all the way around. We're spinning all the way around. So let me get us something that I can hold it. I don't have any bungee straps. So I'm gonna use this one. Maybe, um, I don't know, just hold it somewhere right here maybe. Just to keep it in there. And maybe go somewhere, hold on. Okay, so maybe gonna strap this thing all the way around to the steering wheel somewhere right here so it don't move. Let's see if we can do that. Just Moving the uh, bolt, bolts right here. This one right there. Second one right there. Now we got it down. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull it out. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pull this out this way. All the way out. Okay, so don't worry about the alignment on the uh, on the shaft because that's what I got that the whole steering wheel tight so it won't rotate move it out of the way and let me show you something now hold up so look at this right here so you can see that's wide up let me zoom in this thing i don't know if you can see that right there but uh that is too short too short teeth right there and then the other one they full off on top of you know all the way up the other one and they short it so there is no way that you can miss the alignment now i'm gonna remove this little thing right here get it out of the way and uh this is the we have to push this out you know out of the way hold on let me see if i can do that <laughs> i can't really do that right now okay but i'm gonna what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna get this big let me see we're gonna get this big uh pin i mean this big uh whatever you call <laughs> i mean this thing right here or color pin or whatever you call so we're gonna get the ply get it out otherwise not bring two you know to get it out so let me get that one Okay, so this is one of the big ones that I have. I got it from a freight, uh, Harbor Freight. It's a whole box, comes with a different size. So it's, they, they owe, you know, but they've been doing the job. So I've been hiding for probably about three, four years. 
and then they've been doing good so <clears throat> i got the big one right there i don't know if you can see that but let me let me see if i can get the it's not right out of the way Let's see how they come off i'll put it not right there it's right there big thing now we're going to pop the this thing you know out, out of the way and then right there that's the big sensor that we're dealing with now now the main thing on this one is uh hold on let me metal, let me get a marker so i show you where the little dot i mean a little arrow right there for alignment that thing should be let me get him okay so i'm gonna try to do my best on this one i don't know if you can see that dot right there can you see let me see where the camera is at. can you see that one right there i don't have anything else to put that one right there you see that little black dot in the center right there so that means my um my sensor is right in the center and then it is and it's on the the way it's supposed to be so right here see that the arrow right there it's right on the little on the little notch right there right in the center so you know it's right on a, yeah i guess but the, but right there so make sure before remove that sensor it's right you know the way it's supposed to see that black dot right there it's right in the center on the right there and then this one it's right on the on the, on the center of the little notch right there okay so now we can unplug the uh, sensor and then remove it let me go and unplug that thing one thing guys in case that you don't have to, in, in case you don't get the steering wheel alignment so you can get the dot right there right in the center see it's not alignment with the center even over there oh i assume even over there let me get this thing right yeah right there see right there so what you gotta do is um just in case you don't gotta like you don't get it alignment all the way like like that you know right in the center so what you gotta do is just go and make sure you kick either way right here on kick the you know you kick a little bit you know either way just a little bit and you will see and you will see if i uh, see the mark moves so you're going back let me see if i can catch that on camera let me see. Uh, but right there, I think we can catch it. That one right there is not in the center yet, so I'm going to do a couple kicks. And see if it moves. It moves the other way, so I need to kick the other side of the. Okay, right there. Now we go. We we did too much. Little bit back on. Let's see. Uh, a little bit. One kick maybe. One kick. Uh, almost about right there. Let me see. Uh, yeah, but right on. Let me see. Yeah, we're right there in the center right now. You don't see right on center, but it is. Look, that's how it looks now. Both of them. This one right here and that one right there. Oh, okay. So now we got that right there. Can you see the blue top right there? This one right here. So you have to push this one down and then press this in and then pull the hole and pull and pull the connector. And press this in. Hold on, let me put that. 
Okay, pull the blue all the way, the blue top all the way, and now you can hear the click right there. So this is the little blue top that I pulled all the way out. Now we can go up here. Now we can lose this one right here. Let me see if I can pull it out. I don't have that tool, but it should come off. See right there, now I'm gonna see my camera. Now we're gonna use the, <clears throat> the hook and we're gonna try to get this out. So just wiggle it like that, it should pop right there. That's the way it pops. Now we're going to go ahead and get the new one. Slide back in. And call a day.